G'day guys, welcome back to Rusty's Garage. Um, heading out today, um, going up to Redcliffe. Got to go and check out a footy store up there for some football gears. It's called What's What's Your What's My Team. Um, going to check that out. Um, there's an ice cream shop up there, so we're going to stop there and get some ice cream. Uh, going to meet up with a good family friend of ours. Um, it was her birthday, I believe, yesterday. Um, so, yep, yeah, happy birthday to you, Sint. Um, and then, yeah, we might hit a couple of shops on the way back and have a look uh, and see what um, what's on the pegs. Um, but, yeah, I guess uh, it'll be an out and about video today. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, you'll get to see a bit of our... Uh, amazing coastline uh, up at Redcliffe um, along the boulevard um, a lot of little boutique shops up there and restaurants and, and that kind of stuff so so yeah um, we'll get into it eh <laughs> so this is the BG's Walk of Fame. Um, the BG's were from um, this area, Redcliffe. Um, so they've got a Walk of Fame through here, um, dedicated to the BG's uh, and their life and their music and yeah, all that. So it's pretty cool. So originally from the Isle of Man, um, the family moved to the Redcliffe Peninsula, Peninsula in 1958, um, which is yeah just up the road from us here. Um, and yeah, I guess that's where the boys' career started. Um, they would um, perform uh, locally at the Speedway, uh, at the intervals of the Speedway. Um, the dude who owned the Speedway was uh, his last name was Good. Um, and they were known, um, their name put up on the door was um, the letter BGs. So um, obviously later it got changed to BGs um, and yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess um, it's pretty cool to have this um, bit of uh, recording and music history in my part of the world. Um, and um, this little memorial walk is a good salute to the Gibb brothers. Um, and I guess the last thing to um, finish off the walk is the three bronze statues of the Gibbs brothers. Um, there's Barry, Robin and Maurice. And um, yeah, as you can see, um, really cool. And a awesome piece of musical recording history um, right on my doorstep. Walk out of BG Way and met with Morton Bay. Um, one of the gems of South East Queensland. Cut out records is awesome. They look really nice. It's cool. Book Exchange, Mad Hatter's Emporium. Retro shops. And the shop we come to look at, what's my team? So this is the football teams in here. So, 
open stuff. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> Big kid ice creamery. Um, got my cappuccino ice cream. Christy's there with her licorice double scoop. And Sim's got boysenberry berry and licorice. So yeah, so we're gonna sit back here, enjoy these for a bit, and then go for a bit more of a walk. So we're now at um, Kippering. Gonna check Kame out, out, see what's on the pegs. Have a look. Um, yeah. See what's there. Um, not expecting too much because it's now two o'clock in the afternoon, so people would have been in here taking shit anyway from now on. So check it out, see how we go. Two most important women in my life. Oh, hello. Fluffing me hair. <laughs> fluffing your hair. Can I fluff your hair? Rah. Rah, there's Charles. She's an animal. She's going to be playing netball in the Olympics one day. She's a star. Nestle. Nothing of interest. It's cool. Star Lord Shelby GT 500. And Venom's Dodge Viper. Cool, it's just the Pixar. Most of them used to get opened really quick. Hmm. Platinum Series Sectanoid. Platinum Series Warrior Whale. Colossus. Batman. 
Batman and the Flash. Oh, and oh, Black Adam. Friendly and charming, home loving, delightful, enjoys lots of tummy tickles, they have an easy going temperament. So yeah, that reminds me of you Cameron, the ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so guys, not a great deal out there today in regards to uh, die cast. A little bit, not a great deal. Only went to Kmart anyway. So, um, but yeah, spent the day up at um, on the Esplanade, uh, Redcliffe, and yeah. But what I am going to do is I'm going to open the two local cruisers that I picked up the other day. So, um, I guess we'll start with the Mustang. We'll get it out. Um, it's pretty cool. As far as Mustangs go, I'm not a huge Ford fan, uh, although I do like the Mustangs. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, we'll get some more light over here, so that can, so we can see that. But yeah, that's that's really nice. Uh, no detail on the inside, but there is, as always, with Matchbox Mustang on the uh, detail on the rear and detail on the front, which is really nice. Um, the wheels look really cool with this and set it off nicely so yeah another really nice casting from matchbox matchbox are uh, hitting it out of the park at the moment um with their castings and the next one is the 2020 corvette so i'll get that guy out um obviously you've seen these the other day i picked them up um but yeah that's nice as well that blue colour is really nice, and as you can see, yeah, detail on the rear, detail on the front uh, is really cool. Really nice blue colour, and again, those wheels on this really set it off. Um, they're nice, nice wheels. So, yeah, another nice casting again from Matchbox. So, doing well, Matchbox. Um, we'll flip this uh, camera, yeah, guys. Around. So um, this is a, a set that I've gonna. I'm, I, I've, I've had this for over six months now, and I've been going to open it um, for that long, and I just haven't got around to it. So today we will open it. Um, it is the Matchbox Japan Tours set, as you can see. Um, so it's got a Nissan Junior a 70 Datsun 510 Rally, a 2020, uh, sorry, 2010 Infiniti G37 Coupe, 2007 Subaru Impreza WRX Police Car, and a 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback. So um, we'll get these guys out as well, and we'll check them out um, because I think that the detail on some of these is going to be good, front and rear. Some of them aren't, so um, we will. Where do we open it from? It doesn't really matter, and I want to keep the box. So, so we'll open it down this side. There we go. So there it is. Um, so we'll start from the bottom, and this is the Nissan Junior looks pretty cool um, no detail on the front no detail on the rear but it does have a trailer hook um, so a good one to hook up to the camper that I've customized um, so yeah that'll look really cool with that hooked up to that so but yeah another uh, pretty cool looking um, 
I know if you could put four drive wheels on that and make it look bigger, make it look like a tough truck. So, but yeah, another really nice casting from Matchbox, uh, although the rear and the front's not finished off, but still, another nice casting. So we'll put it down here. Put these guys down here too, the Corvette and the Mustang as well. But, uh, so next we'll go, well, we'll go straight from the top, from the bottom to the top. So the 510 Datsun Rally, um, which is cool. The top on this is finished off amazingly in, with detail. Um, you've got like the top of the bonnet has got mud, mud spatter on it. Uh, it's got BN and um, filters or whatever they are, Datsun 6. The, the top of it, like the roof tray on it, is detailed. So you've got a fuel tank, tyre, and a couple of other storage things there. And then the rear on the boot is detailed as well. So that's that's cool. I like that. That's that's awesome. Uh, nothing on the front. No light details on the front or the rear. Um, but I guess you can excuse that when you look at the top of it. Because that is next level cool on the top of that. Uh, a little bit of detail on the lights there, couldn't go astray, and a little bit on the front as well, so, but all in all, really nice, and a really nice colour as well, that orange is really cool, so, close to probably my number one pick out of this set. The next one is the G37 Infinity. Um, cool, another nice car, another nice casting, um, I like those wheels on this one. Is it that real um, sort of like upper class sort of look with those wheels <clears throat> and the front finished off nicely the grill and the lights are painted which are nice and the rears painted off as well so as far as going as the tail light in the boot spoiler there and the number plate so that's really nice um, yeah I just wish Matchbox would put out more more castings um, because they're we pay a little more for them here um, for Matchbox um, than we do Hot Wheels. But in saying that, the castings are always seem better um, and they seem more truer. Like one sixty fourth size, I'm not sure. Um, but they're always detailed better in the rear and the front as well with their lights, and they're just finished off a lot better. So. So that's the Infinity. Uh, the next one is the WRX police car. Um, so again, nice decos on the side and matching decos on the other side. No rear detail, which is a shame. And no front detail, which is also a shame. Um, but yeah, it's, look, still, it's, it's not a bad casting. Uh, as far as WRXs go, uh, it's 2007, so it was, this was the model before, I think this was the model before the Bug Eye WRX, which um, wasn't a favourite of any Subaru enthusiasts, I would think, um, and this is sort of, well, I don't know, um, 2007 not sure what what you I'm sure someone down below could tell me what year did Possum Born pass away because um, he was solely and wholly a Subaru driver and I think it was around about 05 06 that Possum Born passed away so but anyway yeah not a bad one look not a bad casting at all um, this, the last one is the Honda Civic Hatchback, so, um, yeah, very cool car. Um, the Civics are a crowd favourite, obviously, with JDM collectors, and, um, particularly the EK and the EJ Civic. But this one, again, nicely finished off at the front, um, as far as down to the fog lights, in the front air splitters there so um very nice and the rear finished as well as far as going as the black line across the rear boot tail there so look again they're hit and miss but um 
this is an older casting than this, obviously. Um, so maybe they didn't have decals made up for this one or a decal jig made up for this one to put them on. So, um, but yeah, that's really nice. That Civic is pretty cool. So guys, we'll get a flyover of these and we'll get some um, pictures up at the end as well. Yeah, so guys, as you've seen, there wasn't a great deal out there today. Um, Redcliffe Peninsula is as beautiful as ever. Busy up there. Um, we did, however, um, get that uh, Shark Tart Ultra back again, so that was pretty cool. Uh, and we opened the Matchbox 5-pack and the other two cars. So if you like what you've seen, like, share, and subscribe. Um, and, yeah, till next time, see ya.